Hi everyone, this is Tanner here, and today I'll be ranking the Mario power-ups. As you can see, we have a lot here to go through. It's a tier list, a, uh, S being the best, F being the worst. Y'all know how this works. Let's go. I'm going to be ranking these on how fun they are to use, creativity, and overall just kind of style, I guess. So this is the Raccoon Leaf, you know, that turns Mario into Raccoon Mario. One of the best power-ups. I love the simple design, the little raccoon ears, the tail. Very fun to use. You can use the tail as a weapon, but you can fly. So it has two things that I can do really well. And I like how you have to build up to fly. It's very rewarding when you soar through the sky with Raccoon Mario. So S tier. For Mario, I think it's a lot of hate. It's C tier. I love the design. It's annoying to control on land, but pretty great underwater. Hammer Suit Mario. A very underrated power up. Very cool to throw hammers and a nice design. I wish they brought it back. They did in the fan made game, newer Super Mario Bros. Wii game, I love, but I wish they brought it back in mainline Mario. Really cool to be like a hammer bro. This is Tanuki Mario, except he can, or uh, this is Tanuki Mario. Very similar to Raccoon Mario, but since there's similarities there, B tier. P Wing. Not really a power up because you can't use it, but you can warp around. That's pretty fun. B tier. The Karibur Shoe. I never really got the appeal of this one. Yes, it's shooting you stomp around, but it's kind of basic. The design looks like a cartoon sh shoe you'd find in like Looney Tunes or whatever. It's not very creative and it's kind of basic looking. I think it's solid. It's C tier. Cannon Ball. This is from, I believe, Super Mario Land. Um, very fun to use. It's like the Fire Flower, except the Cannonball is Ricochet. It has some pretty fun moments with it. Overall, B tier. Cape Mario, S tier. Very similar to the Raccoon Leaf. They can defeat enemies, but I like the flying with it. These two pops are very different. Raccoon Mario is you more build up and go, while Cape Mario you can more flutter around. Also, the simplicity of how Mario looks. He just has a yellow cape. I really like that. Sometimes the more simple, the better for Mario power ups. The Pea Balloon. This is kind of like, you know, the extra invincible version. Very lazy design. D tier. I don't know why I have bananas here. <laughs> I'm talking about Mario Kart. I mean, I don't really see anything else in Mario Kart. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, the hammer? I don't know what this is from. Banana? I don't know. I want to move on here to the carrot from Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins. Very fun game, and this is a very fun power-up. I do think it's very similar to the flying ones. You just kind of glide around. I think it could be a lot more unique. But hey, I like the design and it's pretty fun to use. Wing Cap Mario. Hot Tank. I'm not the biggest fan of this power up. I find it very annoying to control still to this day. And yeah, the two wings on the cap. I like the simplicity. I just wish it was a bit easier to control. Also, the timing of it, how you have a limited time. I don't know. It's just sometimes feels more awkward than fun, but I do like the design of it, and I get why people like it. Stealth Cap. I actually think this is um, A tier. I like it. The timing makes sense, and it's really cool to use in Mario 64. Alrighty. The Metal Cap. I think this is also A tier. I love the design of Metal Mario. It just works so well, and you're kind of invincible, but you're slow. So it's not just like an invincible start. There's actually some things you have to worry about. And I like that. I like how there's kind of that trade-off. Also, I see these are sorted by game. So now we're getting into like the... Oh, these are Mario Kart. I guess we're doing Mario Kart items. We'll get to those later. But now we're past Mario 64. And we're to the new Super Mario Bros. games. Um, it looks like. Even though I don't... Okay, there's a propel mushroom. Alrighty. Let's go here with the Mega Mushroom. I don't love the Mega Mushroom. Mario gets big. That's about it. It's kind of like the Invincibility Star. There's no downside to it, really. So it's just kind of like, okay. I think the Mini Mushroom is honestly S tier. It's really fun how fast and free you feel. You can run up walls. It's so cool. The design just works for me. However, you are one hit and you're dead, which I do like that payoff. I think sometimes power-ups are like the Raccoon Leaf, where they're just really fun to use. Or sometimes like the mini mushroom, where you have more of that balance and more strategic thinking, and I like that. I think power-ups are very different at times, and I like this one because you have to think when you use it. I think sometimes just, you know, the mega mushroom, oh, I'm invincible, it's cool, but it gets very boring. 
Um, the blue shell. A lot of people love it for Mario DS. I think it's fine. The design looks weird. A Mario just in a blue shell. It's solid, I guess. I kind of view it like the frog suit. Um, the fire flower, for the first time, in my opinion on this tier list, I think is A. I mean, how can you not love it? And same with the ice flower. I think both are really cool. Next up, we're going, it looks like, to Mario Galaxy territory here with the mushroom. This is always fun to get in the game. It gets you more health, but it's kind of just basic. The bee mushroom is S tier. The design of Mario in it is incredible. I love the way you buzz around, stick to honey walls. It kind of acts like a bee, and I really like that. It's just those little touches, I think, make those props like that just the more better. Boo mushroom, I think, is hit or miss. I like the design of it in Mario and Naboo. I like the mushroom itself. It's sometimes a bit weird to control, but I like the idea. I think this is B tier. I'll put it below the wing cap. The spring mushroom. A lot of people hate it. I think it's cool, but the design is kind of weird, and it's just Mario in the spring. It gets better in Mario Galaxy 2, where they use it, I think, in better ways with platforming. Um... But I just think it could have been better utilized. The Rainbow Star. It's the Invincibility Star, but hey, at least it looks cool. C tier. The Flying Star. One of the biggest misses potentials in Mario games. It goes in D tier. I love the design of it, but it's just kind of you fly and that's it. It's limited. It's timed. It's kind of like the wing cap, but I think the controls are weird. And it only appears in the main hub of the game. And I'm like, one other level. Like, come on, Nintendo. This could have been... S tier, but uh, I don't know if I can put in D tier. I love that way it looks. This is like, we'll go C tier with it. We'll be a bit more kind to it. There we go. Alrighty. So, the Ice Flower. Um, so, this is the Ice Flower from 2D Mario. Basically, the difference is that in 3D Mario, it's time, but it's the same. Also, in 3D Mario, when you have the Ice Flower, Mario looks like Jack Frost. He looks really cool. Penguin Mario. Really love this power-up. I think it's kind of the best of, like, the blue shell and the frog suit. You can swim very well like the frog suit. You can slide like the blue shell. And you can even throw ice balls like the ice flower. It's an awesome power-up. The power mushroom is one of my favorites. I know, again, it's a flying power-up, but it's more vertical and straight up. The other ones, you kind of fly more horizontal with some vertical extension. I like with the power mushroom just go straight up. It's just a really fun power-up, and I think it just fits that Mario kind of zaniness. I just love the design of it, too. Like, the orange, it just looks well. It's just, just like a regular mushroom. I mean, yeah, it does its job. B tier. <laughs> um, cloud Flower. I really liked it a lot in Mario Galaxy 2. I liked the design of it. Mario can create clouds. I think it could have been utilized a bit better in the game, but still really fun. The drill in that game in Mario Galaxy 2, I mean, it's just a basic drill D tier. And then we have the Yoshi Fruits. Um, the blue one makes you blow up in the air. I think all these are, like, D tier. The yellow one glows in the dark. That was cool. And the red one makes you run fast, like a pepper. Those are pretty fun for Yoshi to use in the game. <laughs> Alrighty. Boomerang Flower. Really like this one. It's a neat power-up. I wish the games used it more, but I like it. Also, the design looks really cool because it looks like a boomerang. But also looks like a flower. Um, I think this is A tier. Alrighty. Then we have the raccoon leaf. But now it's in 3D. Which I still think is very similar to, you know, the way it is in 2D. So I'm just going to put it with it. I, I think it's just very similar. You can't fly as much, but you can still hover. So... This is like the Tanuki, so I like the design of it in stone, though, and the Invincibility one we'll put there. So, yeah, there goes that. The Gold Flower. I love the design of it. You know, it's all gold. But Mario's just basically, it's like a firefly except gold. Like, that's cool. I just think the game could have done a lot more with it. This is a B tier for me. The 1-Up. It works. B tier. Um, the Invincibility Leaf again. Okay, this one's from New Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, I'm going to put up the other ones, because it's just then 2D, like, there's not a lot changing. I don't know why they have both of the Raccoon Leaves. They do the exact same. Like, <laughs> they're very similar, so I don't know why they have it here, like, three times. I guess a bit different in Mario 3D Land, but 
I love it, and that's not going to change. All righty. <laughs> um, the acorn suit. I love this one. It's horizontal flight done well. It's different. All the flying power-ups, I think, are just really fun to use. This might be A tier, though, because you can't attack with it. So we'll go, we'll go A tier with that. All righty. The P acorn is what I think of the invincibility power-ups. It's just there. The bell, you know, turns you into Cat Mario. Excellent power-up. I think this is one of the best. It's so unique and creative. It's not flying. It's not fire. It's not ice. It's just you're a cat. And it just runs with that premise. I mean, how incredible is that? Alrighty. Um, the double cherry is cool. It, it's just simple. This is like B tier for me. It works. It does its job. Not a lot else to say about this one. Cannonball Mario, like it's just a can on your head. Same with this, same with the Ice Gang shoe. It's just, okay, you know what's that? It's nothing unique. Why is the Flat Fire here again? <laughs> is this from 3D Mario? Or 2D? I mean, we'll put with its counterpart. All right. Flash Shrine, it's just on your head. Goomba Head. I think this could have been really cool, but it's just kind of like, oh, you look like a Goomba. But not even like a full Goomba. It's D tier for me. Um, The... Okay, so there's some stuff from Mario Kart we'll have to sort. This is the Super Cat Bell. I'll put off all the in other invincibility power-ups. They're just kind of all fun to use for a while. That's about it. Uh, no really big takes there. Um, The Skinny Mushroom from Mario Maker. This one's fun. I like this one. I think this is like a cool B-tier one. It's kind of unique, crazy. Um, okay. We have... Okay, oh, this is the rock, rock Mushroom from Super Mario Galaxy 2. That was a solid one. I don't love that much, but it's still cool, so we'll go CT with it. Okay. Banana from Mario Kart. If this is it. Oh, okay, Poison Mushroom. I like it. We'll go B tier next to the skinny one. This is all Mario Maker stuff. This gives you just a random, like, skin in the game. Uh, this is, I think, the regular Mushroom, which will put it in B tier. Okay. Uh, the star will put off all the other invincibility ones. This is oh the one that comes with like that, yeah, it's the one from Mario Bros. E Deluxe. That one's kinda it's okay. That's like B tier. The clock. I mean, not that much to say. This is from C Captain Toad. I mean it's cool. It's kinda like the uh, super one, so we'll put that there. Same with this. Okay, let's go Mario Kart. Oh, is this one new Super Mario Bros. 2 with the Golden Mushroom? I think it is. So, they, they really put all the powers in here multiple times. Um, this one's fun to use. This one's really fun to use. Because um, it uh, gives you coins, but it has kind of like a cool twist to it. We'll put this one in B tier. Okay, Mario Kart. The banana. It's classic. It works. The hammer. It's classic. You hammer stuff, you know, kind of is what it is. C tier. The golden hammer. We'll put all the other invincibility stuff. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, the horn in Mario Kart. I like the idea of it deflecting blue shells, but I think it could have been a bit more creative with it, just how it looks, but it's B tier. The lightning, you know, does this thing B tier in the golden mushroom. I just love the design, like the crown on it. This is A tier for me. There we go. And in this, I have no idea, but it looks cool, so go C tier. So that's it. All the Mario power-ups. <laughs> Do I want to make any changes here? I want these videos to be like under 15 minutes when we only have a minute left. I have the stealth caps are a bit below. I like this. We'll put the stealth cap there. We'll put the metal cap. S tier looks good. A tier looks good. Um... We have a lot of the flowers here, a lot of the flying powers. It's been a lot of fun Mario powers. I wish if they did maybe more flowers like a jungle one. That would be cool. Maybe like a bomb bomb one. A lot of the ones I don't like are just kind of lazily designed. Designs a lot of it for me. And then the invincibility ones are just kind of, you know, cool. But that's it. I have to use it for like 30 seconds. I mean, let's just see what the next 2D Mario is and what they do next for powers. Because there's a lot to really explore with Mario. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Until then, take care and peace.